Welcome back to Controller Rollers. My name is Jesse, and we are playing Undertale. I pet some doggies, and now I'm on my way down here. I don't know where I'm going, but... Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. Oh, okay. All right. What? How did you avoid my trap? And more importantly, is there any left for me? The spaghetti. <laughs> what do you tell Papyrus about a spaghetti? Um... I left it. Really? Wowie! You resisted the flavor of my home-cooked pasta! <laughs> Just so you could share it with me? Fret not, human! I, Master Chef Papyrus, will make you all the pasta you could ever want! <laughs> yeah. Okay. My brother started a sock collection recently. How saddening. Sometimes I wonder what he would do without such a cool guy taking care of him. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Human! Hmm, how do I say this? You were taking a long time to arrive, so I decided to improve this puzzle by arranging the snow to look more like my face. Unfortunately, the snow froze to the ground. Now the solution is different! And, as usual, my lazy brother is nowhere around. I suppose what I am saying is... Worry not, human! I, the Great Papyrus, will solve this conundrum. Then we can both proceed! Meanwhile, feel free to try the puzzle yourself. I'll try not to give away the answer. Turn every X into an O, then press the switch. So you gotta find a way through all this. I see. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Can I reset it? Okay. Um, go this way. And up. I can't. There we go. This will be easier than I thought. I thought you had to go in a certain order. Wow, you solved it! And you did it all without my help. Incredible. I'm impressed. You must care about puzzles like I do. I am also very, I'm a, I'm a connoisseur of spaghetti. Well, I'm sure you'll s Oh, <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll love the next puzzle then. It might even be too easy for you. Yeah. <laughs> Good job on solving it so quickly. You didn't even need my help, which is great, because I love doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> Sans is cool. I like him. I like all these characters, honestly. How do Sans keep getting ahead of us? Hey! It's the human! You're gonna love this puzzle! It was made by the great Dr. Alphys. Alphys? Alphys. Alphys! Alphys! You see these tiles? You see these tiles? Once I throw this switch, they will begin to change color. Each color has a different function. Red tiles are impassable. You cannot walk on them. Yellow tiles are electric. They will electrocute you. Green tiles are alarm tiles. If you step on them, you will have to fight a monster. 
orange tiles are orange scented. They will make you smell delicious! Blue tiles are water tiles. Swim through if you like, but if you smell like oranges, the piranhas will bite you. Also, if a blue tile is next to a yellow tile, the water will also zap you. Purple tiles are slippery. I'm gonna I'm gonna make an assumption that all, he's gonna explain all this shit, and then I'm not even gonna have to like memorize any of it. It's just gonna like let me go, because I think that's the style of this game. You will slide to the next tile. However, the slippery slope smells like lemons, which piranhas do not like. Purple and blue are okay. Finally, pink tiles. They don't do anything. Step on them all you like. How was that? Understand? Uh, sure. Great! Then there's one last thing. This puzzle is entirely random. When I pull the switch, it will make a puzzle. Yeah, all the, all the tiles are just gonna be the same color or something. That has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. Yeah! Get ready! <laughs> Amazing. This is the best. Actually, that spaghetti from earlier, it wasn't too bad for my brother. Since he started cooking lessons, he's been improving a lot. I bet if he keeps it up next year, he'll even make something edible. Ah, oh, amazing. This is a good game, like, I like this game. Oh god, what the fuck is here? It's the broken head of a snow dog. What? I don't remember this in snow dogs. Starring Cuba Gooding Jr. <laughs> On the floor inside is a box of pomeraisins. Aware of dog. Please, pet dog. Knowing that dog will never give up trying to make the perfect snow dog. It fills you with determination. Nice. Oh my god. Um, this is a cow. It's gonna be a teenage cow. A dog just dressed in here, filled with inspiration. It kept trying to build a snow dog that expressed its own emotions, but as it built, it kept getting more excited about the sculpture. Its neck got longer and longer, and it added more and more snow until it was rather sad to watch, but I couldn't turn away. Yes, I understand. Shit. All right. Oh, fuck, okay. This, this is actually gonna be a little difficult because this, the, it's like, um, much like Pokemon, it's like that Team Rocket base where it puts you in a certain direction. Like, I can't change my direction once that happens. Ah, fuck me. Oh, wow. <laughs> It's a lump of snow with the word sans written on it in red marker. It's a snow papyrus. Oh, it looks rather splendid. Okay, all right. And that automatically resets it for me, so that's good. Oh my god. I'm not actually very good at puzzles, so... Let's see what happens if I do this. Okay, it stops right there. Shit. Shit. Alright. Sorry guys, this is probably gonna take a little bit. Alright, now I gotta... I probably should have gone down first. You know what? No, I think I did it. Here we go. Nice. All right, okay. That wasn't terrible. See, this is, like I said before, I, I, I think this is a good game for people who don't actually game. Cause like, I'm fucking clueless. 
um, in normal games, like, like, um, Assassin's Creed has a lot of these, like, puzzles, you know, and I'm just fucking hopeless at them. Um, but, uh, with this, I, I got it on, like, my, my, like, my third try. I like games like that, where it's more about telling a good story rather than the gameplay. And everyone's different about that. Some people legitimately like playing games, and that's cool. But that's not my thing. I don't like- I don't enjoy actually playing the game. I prefer to watch people play games. What a tiny doghouse. Oh. Hi. Oh my god. Its spear has a dog face. And also it's racist. <laughs> well, um... Great, okay. Do you, do you like being pet? Oh. Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Fuck. Now I know why people love the uh, Undertale soundtrack so much. This is cute. Come here. Nice. Um, okay. Uh, pet? Oh. Then it wakes up. It's so excited. Jesus. <laughs> he just picks up all this fucking snow. Now a dog is very tired. It rests its head on you. Oh, okay. TLC. That stands for tender loving care. As you pet the dog, it sinks its entire weight into you. Your movement's slow. But you still haven't pet enough. Fuck you. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Pet capacity is 40%. Oh my god. Fuck. Fuck. Oh. Oh, she's... Uh... Nice! Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, there he goes! <laughs> oh, so cute. That's a bridge, I mean... There's a way over here. But I'm pr pretty sure I hadn't gone. Yeah. Those eyes. Don't like that. Yeah, I don't know if I like this, but <laughs> we'll see where it goes. <laughs> it's a door. Interesting. Um, I guess I can't go in because <laughs> I'm like, yes, I'd like to go in. And it's like, it's a door. Great. Well, guess I'll just leave. I don't need your smelly door. Oh, a little cabin in the distance. That looks cozy. A cabin in the woods where it's like snowing. That's cool. I think that'd be cozy. I like, um, I, I like rain. Rain is fucking boss. 
Like, if it's- if I'm trying to sleep and there's rain, it's like, so good. Fucking great. <laughs> Human! This is your final and most dangerous challenge! Behold the gauntlet of deadly terror! Oh, there's a dog! <laughs> when I say the word, it will fully activate! Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice! Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it! Well, what's the hold up? Hold up! What hold up? I'm... I'm about to activate it now! That, uh, doesn't look very activated. Well, this challenge, it seems maybe too easy to defeat the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I am a skeleton with standards. My puzzles are very fair, and my traps are expertly cooked. But this method is too direct, no class at all. Away it goes! Phew! What are you looking at? This was another decisive victory for Papyrus! Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh my god, there we go. I don't know what my brother's gonna do now. If I were you, I would make sure I understand blue attacks. Welcome to Snowden. Nice. Okay. All right. Hello, traveler. How can I help you? Ooh. Life is the same as usual. A little claustrophobic. But we all know deep down that freedom is coming, don't we? As long as we got that hope, we can grit our teeth and face the same struggles, day after day. That's life, ain't it? Oh, well that's... Well, that's a deep... You wanna know what to do here in Snowden? Rilbys has food, and the library has information. If you're tired, you can take a nap at the inn. It's right next door. My sister runs it. And if you're bored, you can sit outside and watch those wacky skeletons do their thing. There's two of them. Brothers, I think. And they just showed up one day and asserted themselves. <laughs> the town has gotten a lot more. Uh, the town has gotten a lot more interesting since then. <laughs> Hiya, welcome to Snowden. I can't remember the last time I saw a fresh face around here. Where'd you come from? The capital? You don't look like a tourist. Are you here by yourself? I didn't answer any questions. Town history. Think back to your history class. A long time ago, monsters lived in the ruins back there in the forest. Long story short, we all decided to leave the ruins and head for the end of the caverns. Along the way, some fuzzy folk decided they liked the cold and set up camp in Snowden. Oh, and don't think about trying to explore the ruins. The door has been locked for ages, so unless you're a ghost or can burrow under the door, forget about it. Awesome, let's see what we can buy. Manly bandana. It has abs on it. <laughs> uh, bicycle. Oh, it's like an icicle. Eat it twice. Cinnamon bun! Heals 22 HP. Ooh. Yeah! Nice. Oh, I see, so you can eat this twice, and and each time you eat it, it heals 11 HP. Yeah, I want that mainly bandana. Hell yeah. Um. Huh? Sell something? Does this look like a pawn shop? I don't know how it works where you come from, but... 
If I started spending money on old branches and used bandages, I'd be out of business in a jiffy. That's great. They're like... They're making fun of, uh, you know, in games how you can like, Oh, this is a fucking rusty old bottle. I'm just gonna sell all my shit. Bye now. Come again sometime. Awesome. Oh, it's the box. Nah. The sight of such a friendly town fills you with determination. <laughs> awesome. Alright guys, I will see you next time where I will explore this inn and go further in our journey of... I don't even know where we're going. Are we trying to get home? Is that the point of this? Find out next time where I'll maybe someday find what we're supposed to be doing here. Bye-bye. Welcome back to Controller Rollers. My name is Jesse, and we are playing Undertale. Um, so I realize I've been collecting shit, but I don't know if I'm actually wearing any of it. So let's take a look. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, wait, I can use? Oh. Well, I'm scared. What if it's like, oh, tough glove. I, I want to equip this to me, and then I use it. It's like HP restored. I'm like, no, I don't want that. Well, you know what? I just saved. So worst case scenario, I can just restart the game. All right, yeah, okay. I'm wearing a tough glove. Uh, the snowman piece, I need to take it somewhere. I don't know where yet. Ooh, manly bandana. Nice. It's not really saying any limits on what I can wear. So I don't know if I can only wear one thing 